Okay, Truman, what's your best guess? 22. 22 and on the front one. I'm sticking around that 18. Wrong. Ugh. Hey everyone, on today's Tech Tuesday, we're taking a look at something we saw at Sea Otter. And it was this little device here, the Tire Whiz. It's the same company that makes the Shock Whiz. Similar technology, but this will tell you your tire pressure at any given moment, before, during, or after your ride. It goes on the valve, sends the pressure reading via Bluetooth to your mobile device or Garmin, and the tire pressures are shown live and also saved to your device. And this is the best part. You can go back and enjoy some real interesting pressure readings that happen during the course of your ride. You get to see the graph, the spikes of pressure, the valleys of pressure, and who doesn't love a graph? It's super cool, and we've just begun to explore some of the benefits of this information, and the first thing Calvin did was take a look at it from a mechanic's perspective. Just for some shop fun, we got out a drill and we made two holes so we can have two valves. This one we're gonna use to put air in and out, out of. This will be a pure sensor throwing the Bluetooth info over to the tablet. So if you've ever wondered how much air am I letting out per tap, it's really not that much. If we check this out. About two tenths at three tenths at most per tap. So you're trying to drop a few pounds, you're doing a bunch of tapping. So that was kind of fun. Now putting air in, we have a typical small bore pump. What does it do? So we engage, we lock it, about one PSI per complete stroke. That's all you're getting. So, and coming off, let's see. A tenth, just a tenth of a PSI loss. Disconnecting. Here we notice we have the black box. We've gone outside our set range, our recommended range. So a technique to get air in quickly is to open up the throat of the valve by taking the core out. It's gonna help seed our bead here quick. So I engage, I let it rip. Whoa, we're good there. I'm gonna over inflate, nice, 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 nice. Boy, let's get some more air in there, 42. Boy, this is fun. And then, stop it. Kinda of hard to ride this way. So what we're gonna do is put the valve core in the VC1. See if I can get it in quick. Ah, barely made it, 20, ah, I made it. So even when I was slow, I did drop some, but I do have enough pressure, plenty of pressure to ride with. Beads nicely seated, ready to go. So as a mechanic, we had fun with the tire whiz, but Truman's gonna take a look at it from the rider's point of view. How can these devices benefit the rider? What I can say is, after about a half a dozen rides, I've really grown to enjoy having real-time tire pressure readouts on my ride. It's nice to walk up to your bike and look down and know exactly what your tire pressures are. On the trail, it's been pretty fun as well. A few weekends ago, we were up doing some lift service riding. By the way, that's Seth. And I developed a slow leak after a sharp rock decided to bite the sidewall of my tire. This dip in pressure shows exactly when the bite happened. So I pumped it up and it was working for a while, but then I'd hit something that spiked the pressure, then I'd have to fill it up again, and again, and again. And right about here, having these readings came in really handy. I pulled up to a decent drop. It had a pretty sketchy landing, but I was having a good day. Thought maybe it's time to shine. I took a quick look at my tire pressure. Boom, my rear wheel was low, and I knew I had to save that drop for another day. Anyway, Calvin, let's wrap this thing up. Truman, you know where I think some tire pressure knowledge is important of the dynamics inside? Gravel grinding and cyclocross. What do you think? Oh, for sure. Gotta Essential. have it. Get out of here. What, what do you think? What about for mountain bikes? 
Absolutely. Enduro, got to know what's going on. Yeah. The performance, the suspension you again. Gotta, you got enough for that drop. The knowledge. Yeah. Well, how about our Road Brothers? What do you think of that? I think the roadies, yeah, I think that they need to know five out, Five hour ride, six hour ride. Has your pressure dropped significantly? Sure. Get out of here. What about fatties? Oh, yeah. Six PSI, why so much pressure at six PSI? About six and a half PSI. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get through that ride. Yeah, that's important. You bet. So Calvin and I are obviously a little bit jacked about this technology. Yeah, Truman, but we want to hear from our viewers. What do you want to know about the dynamics of the trapped air inside your tire? What tests might you perform with this device? If we get some good ideas here, this topic might come up again in a future Tech Tuesday. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy Tech Tuesdays, check out our Repair Help video library, which has detailed guides to a wide variety of common bike maintenance procedures. And of course, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for the latest videos from Park Tool.